Betty McDonald came to my office 10 years ago and was found to have multiple intracranial aneurysms. At that time, surgical management was the mainstay of treating cerebral aneurysms. Post-op, Betty did very well, and she came back to see me about maybe a year or so ago, and one of her aneurysms had quite significantly enlarged. It was a carotid intercavernous uh, cerebral aneurysm. Those aneurysms are in a very surgically challenging, technically difficult location. Here at Christ Hospital, we have a technology to approach that difficult problem. We use special uh, liquid embolic agents or special glue substance to treat the aneurysm. The trickiness of the situation was that she could not tolerate complete blockage of the artery. Ten years ago, blocking of that carotid artery on the right side was the only option available. The outcome of such a procedure would have been devastating. Using Onyx HD500 allowed us to treat completely that three and a half centimeter aneurysm. At the same time, we're able to protect the carotid artery and preserve the flow to the right side of the brain. There is a big difference for patients uh, how they feel about themselves if they undergo a minimally invasive procedure uh, where we access the brain through the groin vessels and they have only a band-aid. It was very different because they didn't have to go through my head or anything like that. And I was able to get back to my regular routine at home with my husband and twin granddaughters after being in the hospital for only three days. So that meant a lot to me. Betty has her life back. The only reminder of her procedure is an eye patch. Filling such a large aneurysm in the cavernous sinus creates some pressure on the ocular nerves. But with the use of steroids and other medications, the issue will resolve completely in several months. Now that she's getting better, I would like to take her traveling. And I'm pretty sure that she would get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Because it's a wonderful world.